Warwick Medical School was founded at the turn of the century and we're now proud that we've established a reputation of excellence both in education and in research. Of course, an awful lot of the staff of the medical school work in both uh, Warwick University and in the University Hospital, particularly those, for example, in the clinical trials unit. We have a collection of medical technology here that exists nowhere else in the UK. Our challenge is to use that technology to have the highest level of care for the patients we serve and to provide the best teaching and research. An exciting new development here is the establishment of the Human Metabolism Research Unit, which is a partnership between the Warwick Medical School and the University Hospital here, which has world-class facilities for studying whole body human metabolism. This includes two chambers for whole body calorimetry, and our particular instruments are actually the most advanced anywhere in the world. It allows us to study how much energy somebody is burning and what they're burning. Is it fat? Is it carbohydrate? We can also study the effect of interventions, be it food, activity, or drug development. We can also collect samples, serum or biopsies of fat or muscle, etc. We're part of the West Midlands, which has one of the highest obesity rates within the whole of Western Europe. And the challenge we face is to how we can address that, and we think we have the facilities here at Comtree that we can lead in that fight. We are an accredited specialist centre for bariatric surgery, and we are a World Health Organisation accredited centre for nutrition. And we want to work closely with Warwick Medical School and other research partners to understand those areas, and we think we are uniquely situated to do that. We were very lucky when we designed this hospital, which was built in 2006, we were able to incorporate research within the design. So we have specific areas that we can carry out research within the hospital, adjacent to clinical areas, which is very beneficial for both our patients and our clinicians. The Human Metabolism Research Unit is implemented within a, one of the wards in the hospital. We have, in West Midlands, a large ethnically diverse population whom we can involve in clinical trials. We've established a research division of metabolic and vascular health within the medical school. The researchers there are excellent and they have a track record of collaboration, particularly with international companies which are already showing interest in the Human Metabolism Research Unit. We are now able to uh, collaborate with external partners, be they other universities, uh, and they may have complementary expertise to the sort of expertise that we, we are showing here or with industry, and we have successfully engaged with a number of industrial partners. A particular strength of this partnership is the multidisciplinary approach. So not only do we have a relationship with the University of Warwick, which includes not only the medical school, but also the engineering school and Warwick Business School, but also with University Hospital. This allows us to establish uh, these early innovations within the hospital environment very early and very rapidly and allows us to see whether these innovations will be truly beneficial for the health of our patients in the future. The Human Metabolism Research Unit is a really good example of world-class facilities that have been put together in collaboration with University Hospital. While it is the case that our research is excellent, clearly a medical school is working for the benefit of patients and the public, so it's important that this is translated into tools for the public health that can be used for innovation within the NHS.